So something you need to understand is that if I am like in a grocery store walking down the street or something and I see you and I think you're cute, like I'm not going to like smile and then like look away. I'm going to like glare at you and that's not intentional. It's me like trying to show you I like you. What? That I look like this today. Yet no man wants me to be his girlfriend. That's why. Hey guys, welcome back to Gets It Out. Now today, we have a video from Independent Alpha. It's titled, Leftover Woman Furious as Men Stop Approaching Them. All right, guys, let's get right into this. How is it that I look like this today, yet no man wants me to be his girlfriend? Oftentimes, when men approach women, they are mistreated and called all sorts of names, forcing them to leave in shame. Because of this, more men have decided to stay away from women altogether. With women no longer getting the male attention they think they deserve, they're getting furious and feel like leftover food waiting to be discarded. I don't know. Because the dating pool is not even a pool. Um, it's not even a puddle. It's like a raindrop. Dating apps are the absolute <laughs> worst because I go on them and there's no normal people. There's normal people. You don't feel like they're normal because you want your... Knight in shining armor, and he's not around. Get it together, seriously. Zero. Like, bring back normal people. Mm -mm. Here's a prime example of why modern dating is such a dumpster fire. This woman is whining about the dating pool being a raindrop, but has she looked in the mirror lately? She's got more red flags than a communist parade. <laughs> She's complaining about dating apps. Newsflash, princess. Those apps are a reflection of you and the people you're swiping sure on. Are. If you're not seeing any normal people, maybe it's time to check your own standards and profile. It's either that or people have the personality of a brick wall. It's literally talking to cement. It's so like no personality, no, no brain cells, no thoughts, no charisma, nothing. She's got the audacity to say people have no personality or are talking to cement. Well, honey, did it ever occur to you that maybe you're the boring one? Men these days have to walk on eggshells to avoid offending delicate flowers like her. So no wonder they come across as bland. Or, or they're just like super misogynistic and like they love Andrew Tate and they have like no thoughts of their own or or yeah, they yeah, yeah. say that they're not political which is also like mm, i don't know about that see when women when women say oh they love andrew tate that's because men have awakened they watch content like this and it opens their eyes it's like wow i can't believe these guys knew this stuff all along but it's so so many people doing it nowadays but still Men have awakened. One, especially like given the times. And yeah, there's just, they're broken. And the dating pool is broken. It's actually, I think it's like a public health crisis at this point. It's an epidemic. So anyways, this is my little rant about the dating pool. And then she drops the real bombshell, complaining about guys who love Andrew Tate or aren't mm -hmm. political enough for her. Classic. She wants a man who's opinionated, Mm -hmm. but only if those opinions align perfectly with hers. The cherry on top is her playing the race card at the end, especially as a brown girl. Give me a break. She's using her race as a crutch to explain away her failure in the dating market. Here's a thought. Maybe it's not your skin color, but your nasty attitude that's turning men off. A third of men, 33%, a little over a third, of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. So I've got a question for the men. So my comments are filled with guys saying we're done. We don't, we're not looking. We like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. It's funny how so many women are shocked that men are checking out of the dating scene. A third of young men aren't looking for partners. Gee, I wonder why. 
Maybe it's because they're tired of dealing with entitled princesses. This woman asks men to explain why they're done. Well, let me break it down for you. Men are tired of jumping through hoops, mm -hmm. being treated like walking wallets, and having to conform to impossible standards set by social media. It's wild. And even the younger girls, I'm talking 18, 17, 16, expect it from little boys. I feel sorry for, for younger guys coming up nowadays, but I say to those younger guys, keep your head down and grind hard, and most importantly, stack your money for a rainy day. And feminist propaganda. They're realizing that the peace and freedom of being single far outweigh the drama and potential financial ruin of getting mm -hmm. involved with modern women. Why risk half your assets and years of child support payments for someone who will probably get bored and divorce you anyway? The fact that she's asking this question shows how out of touch women are with men's experiences. They've spent so long believing that men should be grateful for any female attention that they can't fathom why guys would choose to opt out. Here's a wake-up call, ladies. Men have options, too. They're choosing peace, financial security, and personal growth over the minefield of modern relationships. And can you blame them? When the reward for being a good man is often ingratitude, false accusations, and divorce court, staying single starts to look pretty damn appealing. Mm -hmm. Me to be his That's why this she just reflected why no man wants you to be his girlfriend in one action. And don't forget, you go home and make TikToks. Men see this, so they're going, wait a minute. I thought she was pretty until until this. This chick really thinks that just because she dolled herself up, men should be lining up to make her their girlfriend. Newsflash. Looks aren't everything. And based on this video, your personality is probably repelling men faster than bug yes. spray. Yes. She's basically saying, look how hot I am. Why am I single? Well, here's a thought. Maybe because you're the type of person who posts vapid, self-absorbed videos fishing for compliments online. Men want more than just a pretty face. They want someone with substance, someone who brings value to their life beyond just being eye candy. This why don't men want me attitude reeks of entitlement. So it is. She seems to think that putting on makeup and a cute outfit <laughs> means she deserves a relationship. Sorry, honey, but that's not how it works. Relationships take more than just looking good. They require personality, compatibility and effort all things that seem to be lacking here um as a late 20s going into my 30s single girly i'm fucking struggling i am battling between yes girl you're so super independent like go off yeah i have your high standards and then i'm struggling between like i need a man This woman is struggling between being an independent girly and desperately wanting a man. Talk about mixed signals. She's battling between having high standards and needing a man. Well, sweetie, those high standards are probably why you're single. Let me guess. You want a six foot tall CEO with a six pack who's also sensitive, loves puppies and wants to cater to your every whim. Good luck with that. Because dating apps ain't it. They ain't it. And whenever a man flirts with me, I, I, I pull this. They say they flirt, and I'm like, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I just, <laughs> I don't know. Her complaint about dating apps, ain't it, is rich. So she said dating apps ain't it, and every time a man flirts, so where does a man slide in at? They're talking to you in person. They're flirting with you, and you're doing your eyes. You wonder why men have given up. You actually had guys flirt with you. And you gave them eyes instead of being nice and cultural. You could have said no. That's why guys are done.
Of course, they're not working for you. You've probably swiped left on every decent guy because he didn't meet your ridiculous checklist. Mm -hmm. And when a man does flirt with her, she shuts it down. But it's getting really hot out here in Arizona and people are by the pool, couples are by the pool and they're like flirting and hanging all over each other. And it's kind of hot and it's kind of hot. And I just think back to that feeling and that feeling is kind of unmatched. I'm not gonna lie. And you have a good connection and you're like, oh yeah, water, pool, hot, sun, tan, abs. This is for all of the single ladies that are struggling between staying strong, being independent, and then also just wanting it. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. The most telling part is when she talks about couples by the pool and how she misses that feeling. This right here is the problem. She doesn't want a relationship. She wants the idea of a relationship. She's chasing a feeling, not building a genuine connection with another human being. And then she has the audacity to ask if she should lower her standards or just use what's on her nightstand. Charming. This is the mentality that's poisoning the dating pool. Sure is. Women want men to be perfect gentlemen, providers, and mind readers, but they're not willing to bring anything to the table themselves besides unrealistic expectations and emotional baggage. To the men out there, stay strong, brothers. Don't let videos like these make you think there's something wrong with you for mm -hmm. being single. Mm -hmm. Quality women are out there, but they're not the ones posting self-pitying rants on TikTok. Focus on yourselves, your goals, and your happiness. The right person will come along when you're not desperately searching for them. Yep. My fellow single girlies, where are you guys meeting people? <laughs> I go to the grocery store, I go to the hardware store, I go to the mall, I'm out with my kid, I'm out with my friends, I go to sports games, I go to concerts. Like I'm always out and I'm working on being more approachable because I'm like in my bubble. And I prefaced this as a video for the girls. So if you're a guy and you're, you're Got your little thumbs ready on the keyboard. <laughs> don't come for me. Don't be a troll. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. Say you're meeting them like on TikTok or like on Instagram. People are sliding into your DMs. Are you not terrified? I'm terrified. Here is another woman whining about not being able to meet men while simultaneously throwing up every red flag in the book. She claims she's always out at the grocery store, hardware store, ball games, concerts. But men aren't there to be your personal dating service. Exactly. They're living their lives, not waiting around to entertain you. And if you're not me. Yeah, women say this all the time. I'm going here. I'm going. Guys are living their life. And they're not worried about what women are thinking. You have to understand this. A lot of men are done. They are. They don't want to be bothered. You want a guy six foot? 100,000, okay, he'll sit back, he'll build it. You Let me tell you, ladies, what's happening. See, guys, some guys are becoming the monsters you desire. Think about that. Some guys are doing that. So they can play the market all day long and play with it. Yes, some guys are chads, but working on making six figures, because they know they got that nice car, everything the woman desire, that look, that attitude. Men know that. So once they build themselves, you think they're going to commit? Think about, think about what you ladies are doing. You're building monsters. Do you think they're going to commit? Do you think a six foot five basketball player with a high bank account, high, high bankroll, is thinking about committing? I mean, he already knows the game. This woman is foolish. Meeting anyone, maybe it's time to look in the mirror. Are you approachable or do you have that classic resting face that screams, <laughs> don't talk to me? Then she dares to ask if women are meeting men on social media. But oh no, she's too terrified for that. Do you know how many times I have had what appears to be a really nice guy talking to me and he proposes a first date as a hike in a forest where there is no people or cell service and like trying to be a gentleman saying like you're gonna pick me up no you're not 
No, you're not, because then I have to give you my address and then you know where I live. I will meet you somewhere neutral. Probably paranoid, but I just feel like there's a different mentality as a woman. Give me a break. This is the same woman who probably complains that men don't make an effort anymore. Well, you can't have it both ways. You want men to approach you, but you're scared of anyone who actually does. Her paranoia about men suggesting hikes or picking her up is just sad. Yeah, yeah and I said that before. Uh, in the last video I did, I used my wife as an example, but these women need therapy. A lot of women need therapy. Look, she said, I don't have men approach me. And then now she's saying, I have men approaching me, ask me out on hikes. The guy is trying to set up a date to see how you are. You seem like you may be half decent because you said, I would go, but you're scared. So you have decent, but you have drama. What am I supposed to do? Figure out your drama? We're not therapists. Yes, there are creeps out there. But if you're this terrified of every man, maybe you should just stay single. Yeah. Men are tired of being treated like potential criminals just for showing interest. Mm -hmm. So something you need to understand is that if I am like in a grocery store walking down the street or something and I see you and I think you're cute, like I'm not going to like smile and then like look away. I'm going to like glare at you. And that's not intentional. It's me like trying to show you I like you. What? What the f At least she admits to glaring at guys she finds attractive and being rude if they approach her. And she thinks this is cute or quirky. This is psycho behavior, plain and simple. She's basically saying, I'm going to treat you like garbage, but that means I like you. What kind of twisted logic is that? This is the kind of toxic game playing that's poisoning the dating pool. Men are expected to be mind readers, deciphering whether a death glare means I hate you or I want to jump your bones. And even if you were to come up and talk to me after that, like, I would be really rude, but then once you leave, get so excited. But that's just my way of, like, interacting. So. What? Yeah. And the kicker is, she gets so excited after the guy leaves. So she can't even muster basic human oh, decency man. at the moment, but expects men to somehow know that her rudeness... She just showed why guys aren't talking anymore. So... You're going to get excited, but dead the guy. That's your shot. You, you're going to dead him and then get excited. Excited that you were able to dead him. I had somebody I was able to reject today. Guys, don't talk to women. Did you see what she said right there? If only talk to women when they're letting you know, hey, you're, I'm going to be yours. Or, this is yours tonight. Something, <laughs> something like that. Seriously, guys have to wait for telltale signs and telltale everything. She got to be telling a tell, even showing a tell, because guys aren't hearing it. Is actually showing interest. This is why men are done, ladies. They're tired of these childish games. Men, don't waste your time on women who play these kinds of games. You deserve someone who can express interest without resorting to middle school tactics. Mm -hmm. And if a woman is genuinely rude to you, take her at face value and yep. move on. You're not missing out on anything worthwhile. This is why dating in 2024 is such a mess. You've got women who are simultaneously desperate for attention and terrified of it, playing mind games and then wondering why they're single. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, the answer is staring you in the face every sure, time you look in the mirror. Fix yourselves man. before demanding that men cater to your neuroses and mixed signals. Until then, enjoy your cats and your unrealistic romance novels. Exactly. The rest of us will be over here in the real world, building genuine connections based on mutual respect and mm -hmm. clear communication. All my friends say it that guys just don't approach anymore. Like in the past, maybe a guy would approach and come up to them, ask for the number. Once in a while it happens for me, but of course, like not as much as previously. And obviously, a guy can literally open up his Instagram app. Hold so up, hold up. She said, once in a while that happens for me, but not like previously. Enjoy that once in a while.
enjoy it. Are you giving these guys the time of day? I would love to hear that. Did you give a guy that approached you the time of day? I'm going to wait and see. Search up girls in the city that he's in. Go like a bunch of their photos on each of their pages. So you go on like 20 really pretty girls pages. And then eventually one might follow back or like some photos back. And that is a hell of a lot easier for a guy and way less amount of rejection than to go up to a girl on the street. Yes. This woman starts off by whining about how guys just don't approach anymore. Well, now you know. After years of being told they're creeps for daring to talk to women in public, men have finally gotten the message. You can thank your feminist sisters for that one. She then goes on to compare the ease of sliding into DMs versus approaching in person. Yeah, of course, it's easier to like a few photos than risk public rejection and possibly being labeled a harasser. When you've created a culture where men are one false accusation away from having their lives ruined, what do you expect? But if a guy is coming up to you on the street, and even if you're not interested in him, thank him and be kind because it does take a lot of nerve okay. to go up to someone and do that. At least she said and that. I do believe that real men still approach. But here's where it gets rich. She says if a guy does approach you in public, even if you're not interested, She's you should thank him and be kind she's rejecting oh how generous of you yeah after years of treating men like potential predators for daring to say hello now you want to throw them a bone <laughs> too little too late princess oh, man. and then she drops this gem i do believe that real men still approach no there it is guys I the classic shaming tactic yeah if you don't put yourself out there and risk rejection mm -mm. public humiliation or mm -hmm. worse you're not a real man. This manipulative BS is exactly why men are checking out of the dating scene entirely. It's a reality check. Men Just don't owe boss. you an approach. They don't owe you attention. So sure don't. And they certainly don't owe you gratitude for your condescending kindness when they do work up the courage to talk to you. You want to know why men aren't approaching? Look in the mirror. You and your ilk have created a toxic dating culture where men are damned if they do and damned if they don't. Mm -hmm. You want them to be mind readers, knowing exactly when and how to approach without ever making you uncomfortable. And then you have the audacity to complain when they opt out of your rigged game. To the men watching this, don't fall for it. You're not less of a man for protecting yourself from this nonsense. Focus on your own goals and happiness. If you want to approach a woman, do it because you want to, yes. not because you know some man. TikTok yeah. princess says you it makes you a real man. <laughs> and to the oh, women, man. if I'm you're wondering you. why you're single, videos like this are exhibit A. Mm -hmm. You can't spend years demonizing male attention and then complain when you stop getting it. You've made yeah. your bed, you're now lying. lie in it. Mm -hmm. This perfectly encapsulates the entitlement and lack of self-awareness plaguing modern women. Too much. They want all the benefits of traditional courtship with none of the responsibilities or risks. Well, ladies, it doesn't work that way. If you want good men in your life, try being good women first. Until then, enjoy your cats and your where have all the good men gone wine nights. The good men are out there. They're just smart enough to steer clear of this toxic mess you call dating yeah all right guys that was independent alpha that was a good one but yeah these women man they need to, they need to get it together but they probably never will but yeah guys if you got this far be sure to hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them thank you guys for watching see you next video Baby, you give me ice and fire You're giving me wind and